Hello, hello, my lovely angels. This is your girl Sim back with another episode of The Sim Squad. So today I have oils for you. And when I say oils, don't you automatically go towards Khadlaj, right? So with their ever popular Harimal Sultan, now they have released four more. Uh, I don't think they're on the market yet, but I have the opportunity of trying them uh, in advance. And I want to share them all with you. There are four that I have. There is uh, Malika Red, which means the Red Queen. Malika Green, which is the Green Queen. And then we have the Purple Musk and the Pink Musk, which are my favorites. But I'm going to start off with the Red Queen and the Green Queen. So I have my notes right here because like, I don't want to like get confused. By the way, I have about 30 new perfumes that I need to try for you. Some I've purchased, some I've got as PR. The Khadlaj perfumes, the Khadlaj oils, I've got them all uh, as PR. They are doing the seeding right now, so a lot of people will be posting these and then you can decide if you like them or not, if you're an oil person or if you're not an oil person. If you guys know me, I'm not much of an oil person. Like, unless it has to be super exceptional. Only then will I mix it with my lotions and stuff and then use it for layering, right? But otherwise, like picking up an oil and then trying to use it, it's something that I don't like doing. But uh, there are exceptions. Like Harimal Sultan was an exception, you know? Like there was this particular musk that Body Shop had a very, very long time ago. I used it, like I used it and abused it to an extent that now I cannot tolerate that smell anymore. So that was the oil, right? I would wear it like everywhere. Right after shower, it would be on me, right? Before sleeping, it would be on me. So yeah, I did have like previous obsessions with some oils and I'm interested to like see if I can get into these oils again. So let's start with the first one. This is the Malika Red, which is the Red Queen. And I am obsessed with the packaging. Okay, opened it the wrong way. That is your beautiful, stunning bottle. And that's how it opens. Sorry guys, my nails are like super crusty because like they need to heal again because I messed it up again. I did a lot of extensions and stuff and now they're like <laughs> holding on for dear life. <laughs> so I need to like cut them off again and again so that, that the new ones grow and they're healthy and I need to take vitamins and it's a whole thing, right? Like oils and stuff on my nails. So let's try the Malika Red. I absolutely find the bottle stunning. The presentation is amazing and the oil stick is like that and the oil is actually transparent so you can't see the oil at all so it will not stain your clothes right now you can wear this directly on your skin or you can use it along with lotion or you can wear a little bit of vaseline and then put it on top of that so or you can put it on your clothes as well as long as it doesn't stain you know but with oils i always say do a skin test you know like a little patch test and see if the oil suits your skin or not when you mix it with lotions and stuff, it's still like all right because you are actually having a barrier, right? With the lotion. Now this guy is like, <laughs> the moment I smelled it, I'm like fruit bomb. And these are the kind of fruits, you know, when you smell it, your mouth waters because it's like actual like fruity fruity. Like instantly you get these um, berries, like they're juicy. And then you get that grapefruit, which is like literally you're squishing the grape juice and drinking the juice. And the grapefruit is like sweet. It's not like bitter. Okay, slightly bitter, but Khadlaj is on like fire with their oils, like potency, it's like 100%, longevity, 100%, projection, 100%. It's like everything that you do with the oils, whatever they do with the oils, it's like they have this magic touch yeah, with the oils. And the owner of uh, Khadlaj, the senior Khadlaj, you know, he is actually uh, very proficient in making oils more than the perfumes. The top notes for this are grapefruit, ylang ylang, rhubarb and wild berries. Middle notes of lily of the valley, jasmine, orange blossom, and coconut. And the base notes of musk, peach, apricot, and cedar wood. Now, as you're aware, if you've tried Harimal Sultan, you know that all the Khadlaj oils, they have a tendency of not staying linear. They change. So most of their oils, initially, it's like fruity, and then it starts changing into like florals, and then ultimately drying down to either resins or musks or woods like this is like their standard thing which like not many oils can achieve the the, the the like you know the dynamic nature of the oil the oils also will smell different on each and every person like the, on me it was smelling different my family is here as you're aware <laughs> i've checked they have actually gone to this 
place called Global Village. Just Google it. It's a beautiful place. They've gone there. So I took this opportunity to film because I have like so many new perfumes and I'm like, like lagging behind a lot. Like a lot of content creators have already posted these perfumes and I have not. So I need to like, like push through and I can, so that I can give you my idea and my opinions about these perfumes as well. So today they have gone and so I'm like actually making the videos. Why did I just start saying that? Oh yeah, because my sister, she tried this oil and it was smelling completely different on her skin and my skin. Like literally we tested it on, on the back of our hands and both of us, it was smelling drastically different. So on me, like the fruitiness and tartness of this, uh, the opening was really, really strong. On my sister's hand, it started off very fruity floral already. Like on my hands, initially I could only smell the berries, the rhubarb and the grapefruit, right? slowly slowly let's say after like 10 minutes or so like the flowers started showing and these flowers are like super pleasant super like that's the part where it starts getting a little linear because the flowers although it has like lily of the valley jasmine these are like potent flowers right they are like what the ones who say waving at you like hi i'm here and you can definitely see them and smell them right this one it does not have that it has like a very floral quality. It's like a mixture of all the roses, uh, all the, <laughs> all the flowers, like a bouquet, and that's what you smell with the little little greenness of the rhubarb. But the rhubarb is not like the Delina rhubarb. It's not so sharp. It's very very smooth. So on my skin, the longest lasting part were the flowers. It's like you're ha they're having a party, and you are invited, and you're having a blast, right? <laughs> so like that part like goes on for quite some time till it settles down to a nice musky peachy cedar wood you know so it's like a very woody musk but at the same time it has this peachy quality about it so it's still the fruitiness still like comes back it's weird it disappears for a little while in the middle notes and then comes back again as peach but then you also get that grapefruit so that grapefruit kind of like the bitterness and the sweetness of the grapefruit remains through and through right unfortunately okay so this is the part where i say it depends on the skin chemistry on my sister's hand on the dry down it was like floral musk you know a little bit of like peachiness and then it had this woody quality about it on my skin for some very odd reason i got this sour milk kind of scent okay so i don't know it's if it's that musk it's a very if you guys know my videos if you've seen me for a long time you know there's a certain type of musk that turns it was the same one in kaidal for sun unlimited right it turns and it smells like sour milk, you know, like not sour milk. Yeah, the, the milk that turns, you know, like so it has this little cottage cheese kind of like thing going on. And I don't know why, like when I'm putting it on the paper right now, it doesn't smell like that. But on my skin, it turned. So I still do want to try this like along with the lotion and everything and see if it does not do that, right? Because as a layering fragrance, all of these ones, by the way, that I'm mentioning, you can wear it on its own. But as a layering thing, this that's what I would use an oil for. I would not use it on its own for, that like, there's no way I would use, actually this is one of them. Okay, let me just spoil the video. Let me just like, you know. <laughs> Guys, since three days, I've been taking Xanax because I've been getting panic attacks. So if I'm being a little weird, please forgive me <laughs> i'm trying not to be like awkward or anything or say anything weird or morbid or something just like bear with me like you know so yeah i do love it i'll i do like it i do not love it right i think out of the entire lot this one is like my least favorite but that does not mean it's a bad one i'm just saying the uh, it just goes upwards from here <laughs> so this one is good but like the ones that are coming up now those are like intensely insanely beautiful so like let's hold on this is like super feminine i like this little twinkly noise it relaxes me for some reason this is like all day all with weather but like layering right if you wear this on its own most of these oils initially will smell quite juvenile because it's like a fruit bomb you know but then it's like settles down and everything and like that initial 20 to 30 minutes like it changes completely so you need to like actually wait it out or wear it like before you start getting ready and then like once you go up the actual uh, middle notes and dry down will be there so i like this but i would give this like a seven out of ten just because it turned on my skin right and i am like very skeptical of anything that turns milky on my skin and that sour milky thing so i i'm still gonna try it my initial review for this is seven out of ten there's no middle eastern wipe check in this it's zero it smells like fruity floral musk that's all it smells like the projection i would say is uh, one and a half two feet it's an oil right but I've noticed like if you mix these oils with lotion, it projects more. It's like a very weird thing. Although it should be more potent when it's in its oil form. But somehow when it's in your 
lotion i guess because it spreads all over your body and then your body creates heat and all that jazz you know so yeah so i think if you want more projection you need to like use it with oil or a lotion or with vaseline or something uh, the longevity of this is like six hours, not more. Um, you would think an oil would last like much, much longer, but that's not true. Because if you have like uh, stronger woods or oud or uh, amber or stuff like that, like it stays in your skin for a very long time. This one, the musk and the woods will stay for a long time, but the rest of the notes will like, like reduce like pretty quickly. So I would say longevity, six hours, yeah. And the celebrity, I would give this to Ariana Grande. I do not much appreciate her or her music, but anyhow, when I smell this perfume, I just thought of, you know, not in a bad way, I just thought of her for some reason. So that's Ariana Grande for you. That's Red, uh, Malika Red, which is the Red Queen. Now we have Malika Green, which is the same. Actually, the packaging is the same. Everything is the same. They also have these cards which say which, which new oil is going to come up. And I have this one already, the pink musk, right? This is the same bottle, the exact same one, but this is like green in color. Again, like super pretty. Can you see all this intricate details? It's super gorgeous, very pretty. Plus it has this dangling thing which says Malika, you know, and it's pretty. And the moment I smelled this, I was like, damn. All right, because why is it smells so much of green apple? Now this is that initial blast I'm talking about, right? So right off the bat, you get like so much of green apple but it's sweet it's not like tart or tangy or anything but the green apple is mixed with berries and currants yeah and it gives it that sweetness so that green apple along with the berries and the currants i can't explain to you it just feels very familiar it smells like something i've had in my childhood whether it was a drink or whether it was a perfume i used to use i would say initially the you know the fantasy berry spray kind of smells like that and the fantasy berry spray was the only one i used to like but i outgrew it like super soon but wait that's not the part which i like in this perfume this is like the green part which is like the fruits especially green apple you know me i don't like apple at all you know but this one changes so fast let me tell you the notes for this so that this one is like categorized as a fruity floral the other one was also, I would say, floral fruity. So that's like more of a fruity and this one's more of, more of a floral. Top notes are apple, blackcurrant, grapefruit and lychee. Middle notes of raspberry, jasmine and rose. And then you have the base notes of sugar, vanilla, musk, amber and moss. So like the top notes of apple, blackcurrant, grapefruit and lychee is something you smell like let's say for about three minutes. And then the actual soldiers come in and then they are there, like there to stay and they're serving you, you know. The slight tartness of the grapefruit, the juiciness of the lychee and the sweetness of the berries and everything like they slowly start merging into jasmine and rose. But now this jasmine and rose, rose is like slightly more dominant than the jasmine. So you do smell the rose and you can identify it. Like you, when you smell it, once it gets to the middle notes, you can smell the rose for sure. But jasmine, not so much. In fact, they both are like present but mildly present, right? Like it will not overwhelm the perfume. Now, that green apple thing is like almost gone. It's very subdued. That's why I'm saying in three minutes, literally, it switches so fast. Like all the greenness, the freshness just disappears in three minutes, yeah? But the base notes, when they kick in, that's the part which is my favorite. That's why I like this perfume so much. But this is like, I'm literally presenting these perfumes to you in order <laughs> I like it. So like reverse, right? So this is the third last one, right? Or third. After this will be second and first, right? So still... Like everything that's creamy and sweet comes in the base note. You get your sugar, vanilla, amber and musk all coming in like right in the end along with those mild florals and fruits like being there but not being there. Like like they're, they're very much in the background, you know, just like whispers, you know. But the other part like the sugar, vanilla, musk, all these like come forward and that's what you're smelling towards the end. And the dry down, it reaches the dry down pretty fast. So this is the part which will stay the longest. And the moss is not mossing too hard, so you don't have you. It will not smell dirty or like earthy or woody, not woody. Sorry, like the wet uh, earth wood kind of scent. You know, you're not getting that. Moss is there, but it's adding some kind of intrigue. But it's not really like the smell of moss. This one again, super feminine. You can wear it in all weather, anytime during the day, preferably as a layering perfume. That's how I would use this, right? Uh, the longevity for this one again, it's like um, six hours, I would say. This goes away slightly faster than the red one. So I would say five to six hours for this one. 
The projection, again, it's like two feet. It's a body oil. What do you expect, right? My rating for this one is 8 out of 10. And uh, why? It's because of the dry down. The dry down is like amazing. And this is what I want. Like once I put like this oil in my lotion, this is how I want to smell. I want to smell delicious, sweet and everything. And then on top of that, I can wear any interesting perfume and then I will smell like gorgeous throughout the day, right? And the celebrity I wanted to give this to was Camila Cabello. Just that feeling of tropical and sweet, sugary and like slightly exotic as well. Like I would give this to her. Now on number two <laughs> is Purple Musk. So Purple Musk is like, mm, I want to kind of let them share the stage like together. But let's do the pink musk first. Okay, just rock it so that it comes out, right? Just look at this precious, precious bottle. How stunning. Look at the color of the juice. Like it changes from pink to purple to orange, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to put this on my hand because I absolutely love this one and the pink one. So this dude... <clears throat> By the way, I've not listed the prices or Fragmantica review because these are not there yet in the market, right? I'm just giving you a preview and then I might do follow-up videos to show you how they transform and like what layering combinations I've used it with. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, let me tell you the notes so that you can understand what I'm talking about. Now, those two Malikas were like fruity florals, right? This one is a floral but I would say like a woody floral, creamy woody floral. The notes on over here are the top notes of fruity accord, coconut and peach nectar, middle notes of floral accord, tiare blossoms, and the base notes of sandalwood and heliotrope blossoms. I don't know what's there in this. First of all, it smells like super tropical. Plus it has like a little bit of that Play-Doh feeling, which was there in the date night. As a matter of fact, you know what? The date night is right here, so let me like spray it on this side to see if this is the oil version of the date night because it's smelling very, very, very familiar. Although the date night has the, the Play-Doh, the doll head scent, it's very, very strong. And this one is much lesser. Okay, let's say that the base is the same. That Play-Doh-ness, the florals, they all are the same. But as for the perfume, they're not exactly the same, but they are, if you smell it, you would think they are like sisters like close sisters right who are like very good friends with each other the oil is slightly more youthful date night the perfume it's a bit more uh, a person who dresses up well she knows what she's doing she earns well and stuff right like a dior perfume or something it smells really really oh, it's one of my best fragrances by the way date night so but the moment i smell this purple musk i was a very happy person because i was like this play-doh-y kind of thing i know it's not for everybody but for me like ever since hypnotic uh, poison from Dior I'm kind of obsessed with that DNA and like anything that smells slightly even slightly play doh I tend to enjoy it yeah now over here for uh, the purple musk it has coconut right so it's adding this tropical nature which is not there in the date night right so that's why I feel it smells a little bit more youthful so it's like the younger sister of uh, date night it smells something you would wear at the beach or a tropical vacation plus it has like Fruity Accord with Coconut and Peach Nectar. So, yeah, that's kind of giving you like tropical vibe, right? <laughs> Immediately. But then it has a play doh thing going on, which I feel, you know, when anybody has this play doh scent, like I literally feel like you're smelling expensive. You smell upscale. It's like a weird thing. Like you smell new. <laughs> because literally when you open a toy or something, you know, something that's made of like good quality plastic and it has like a hint of scent in it. When you open it, you know how good it feels. Like it just reminds me of that and that's why I like it so much. So I'll definitely be layering these two. So I have my layering combo of these two set. I might even mix this with the occasion, uh, special occasion of the proposal, right? Plus it helps that the bottle is like this freaking cute. This will like be one of those days where I want to get ready for three hours. I usually get ready in like 20 minutes, by the way, just to let you know. Even doing this makeup, I think maximum like getting dressed up completely was like 30 minutes, not more than that. So like when I want to dress up for like for three hours, so I take a long ass shower. Whoa, I just said a bad word in between. Oops. Anyhow, <laughs> I will like, like take a long time to take a bath, like you know, do all the work, you know, and then come out and then wear a lotion, which is mixed with this one. Like also like kind of like spray it in my hair a little bit or put it on some of my strands, like under my, you know, and when I come out, I would already be smelling of this. And then I would put like the most lit makeup ever and then dress up and then spray the proposal all over. 
and then when I come out, I'll be looking at everybody down like, you peasants don't smell anything as good as me. No, no, I would never do that to anybody. But like you would get that feeling that you smell better than everybody else, you know. So that's why this one was like a game. So I think I should have put this on number one, actually. Wait, let me see why I've put pink as number one. So <laughs> let's just wait. And you know, the celebrity, the moment I thought of this, you know, when that nasty feeling came in my head that I'm like, better than you you know i just thought of cruella diva <laughs> so emma stone as cruella like perfect that's like the perfect description of this plus she's this whole couture thing and like you know lala it's the perfect scent if it, emma stone in that bore a uh, perfume it would be like either this date night or this one you know amazing I think that was a pretty good move by Khadlaj to release a perfume that smells like Date Night because Date Night was already a lot popular. So they kind of mixed this with like some tropical notes and then created a completely different perfume. I really wish this would come in a, as a flanker to the proposal and comes in a spray form. Oh my gosh, I'll be dousing myself in it like forever. <laughs> this I would say is unisex. I think a man can like totally wear this and get away with it. I would say evening wear, but all weather, anytime, you know. Occasion, not occasion. You want to smell good, you wear this, right? Middle Eastern wipe check is zero. Longevity, the sorry, the projection would be around two feet. Longevity, I would say, again, six hours. Like, I would not rely on it to stay for more than six hours. You know, I would just top it off or spray my uh, other perfume that I'm layering this with, which would be date night. My rating for this is like 10 out of 10. Like, amazing. I'll buy it again. Once it finishes, I'll buy it again. Easy to carry, even when I'm going on vacations and stuff. Like, it's perfect. It's like perfect. I love it and like by the way Khadlaj has like a whole lot of details written on the hope you can see it you know so beware because uh, unfortunately they've had a lot of people stealing their formulas and like releasing fakes and everything in the market so preferably buy some like buy it from their own store you know like Khadlaj stores or Khadlaj website and stuff they're slowly slowly shipping everywhere I feel really bad because like somebody who works so hard and everything and then a person copies their thing and releases the exact same packaging and everything it's all it's like I can't even imagine so okay so we are on the last one and we're gonna see why on earth did I put this as number one over the purple mask which I really like so this one is the pink mask and the bottle is exactly the same so when you're taking it out just like you know and this is the same bottle but it's in pink <laughs> Look at that, so, so pretty. It has these flower details and everything. I really like the bottle. I really, really like it. Now this one is again a fruity floral. And the moment I smelled this, I liked it. You know why? Because it reminded me of Delina without the green notes. Just like the Tomavichi Empyrean reminded me of Delina but without the rhubarb. So the moment I smelled those two, when I, the moment I smelled this one, I was like, I can like definitely... Uh, layer this with uh, Empyrean if I use this in a lotion form. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is amazing. So think of Delina. The rose is definitely there, but instead of rhubarb, they have so it's a rhubarb and lychee actually. They have pear and mandarin. So just remove the sweet lychee smell and remove the bitter green rhubarb scent. You know, instead add, add this uh, tangerine and add a pear. You know, so the pear and tangerine, the greenness they have. It's a fresher one, right? It's slightly citrus. The pear is also adding some kind of greenness and crispness to it, just like what rhubarb would generally add. But it was an excellent idea to repl replace those two uh, notes because first of all, everybody's doing it. Secondly, now, I would not call this a dupe of Delina. You know why? Because the, um, the main char characteristic of uh, Delina was the rose, rhubarb and the lychee. And this one doesn't have the rhubarb and lychee, right? So it completely changes the DNA. Plus then they also have, okay, so the top notes are blackcurrant, mandarin and pear. So they have blackcurrant as opposed to, I forgot what Delina has. Anyhow, middle notes of rose, plum tree blossoms and jasmine. And the base notes of white musk, dry amber and raspberry. So this is definitely very like blackcurrant, berryish, tangerine and everything. But because of that certain rose that is very, very similar to Delina, it kind of gives you that Delina vibe. But does it smell like Delina? 30%, let's say. Like if you initially sniff it, you'll be like, oh my gosh, this is probably a Delina tube. So no, it is not. Okay, so I remembered why I put this on number one. Because this is a wearable DNA, Delina DNA for me. So I would wear this just because, just how I like the Empyrean, right? I liked it just because it was, 
it didn't smell like Delina. So it's nice. I didn't scared, get scared of the pink box, the pink everything, you know, because like normally when you see pink, you're like, dude, this is going to be Delina. It smells like a girl who's wearing a summer dress, wearing these white framed sunglasses, wearing a scarf, you know, and she's sipping on a nice berry cocktail. <laughs> That's what it smells like. And the berry cocktail is like cold, you know, and she's feeling like relaxed, cool, chill, you know, very chill, very beautiful, very pretty. And anybody who looks at her, she'll grab their attention just because she's wearing those white framed glasses. What's with white framed glasses? You know, you instantly look at a girl the moment you see anybody wearing white framed glasses, sunglasses, you feel like instantly attracted to them, especially if they're wearing the scarf along with it. So yeah, this was like the image I got like, you know, this is like the kind of perfume that will keep you cool all day. And I really like that feeling, especially because in Dubai, it's like it's always hot. By the way, right now, it's so cold. It's so cold. Although like on uh, paper, I think it goes only down to 11 degrees. But I don't know why. For some reason, like Dubai winter, like it kind of like pierces through your skin. It's weird, right? So when I go to the balcony, like I can't stay there for more than half an hour. You know, I'll start like feeling aches and pains in my old body, you know. <laughs> so... <laughs> So this is like 100% feminine. You can wear this anytime during the day. Weather, I feel spring, summer, you know, but I wouldn't mind wearing this during uh, winter as well. By the way, also combining these two together will give you a beautiful fragrance. So just think of Delina with date night, how it would smell like. These two are like that combination. So I would kind of think of mixing these two as well. This one's projection is slightly more than the others. This would be like around three feet or more. Uh, the longevity also is around like seven to seven to eight hours. I don't know why is that happening, but this one definitely lasts longer on my skin. I tried them all on my skin uh, on separate occasions, separate days, you know, so I could actually uh, process them properly in my head. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. This is an excellent perfume. This is what Delina should have been like. See, because I've, I've put the purple mask on my hand. I am smelling them both together and smells so good. And the celebrity, of course, it was Margot Robbie from Barbie. Like, this is like such a Barbie scent. It's so like that, her aesthetic, you know, and that pink and white and, you know, sunglasses, scarves, you know, hats and everything. Literally her in, in the convertible, you know, like that image. I would imagine she's smelling like that. <laughs> so that's all for today, guys. That was like a proper Khadlaj oil because these new oils, you know what, they actually have two more coming up and they have these dangling thingies. I saw that in the middle, beauty world Middle East and those were also like really, really good. But like for now, these are like, these two especially are like bomb and I can't wait to like wear them. The other two, like I've not given a 10 out of 10 because I can live without, you know, but these two, like I, I think this is like one of those uh, perfume oils that I need in my life. Just like the Harimal Sultan, that's like the perfect, um, fruity uh, oil for me so that one would like stay because it's like goes into a musk and florals which is like insanely pretty if you have tried Harimal Sultan you know and these two are just so unique I've not smelled oils like these this one maybe because of the Delina thing it kind of smells like Delina but not really and this one is like date night with a twist so I love 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 these two I hope you enjoyed this video guys I am trying to release like daily videos but it's kind of difficult because I need to film back to back you know and I need to edit more uh, which is like the most work, right? So filming is not an issue because I feel like I'm talking to you guys so I can just keep talking and not like get fed up. But I'm sitting and like watching myself talk <laughs> and I'm editing. I'm like, oh my gosh, stop. Like, why couldn't you make the video shorter? You know, that's what I think all the time. I'm like, why are you yapping on? And I'm doing it again. So I'm going to stop right now. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Guys, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy because I really like I'm connecting with you guys and I didn't think that like that happens, you know, kind of like, I don't know you, right? Like, I, I, whatever I discuss with you, so many of you all, like, we just dis discuss stuff on daily basis, you know, through comments and everything. I know I disappeared in my comments, like, off late, but uh, I really, trust me, I've been uh, really busy going through some issues as well and stuff. Don't want to disclose all that stuff because it's very personal. But, like, it's just, like, I need to, like, get myself to create a focus and create a space. So, like, today, because my family is out, I can actually, like, sit and be, like, completely you know, zend out and uh, film for you guys. And thank you guys for all of y'all who've been supporting me, like relentlessly being there for me. Like, I love you guys so much because like, trust me, trust me. Like, I don't care how soon my channel grows and everything. As long as I have like people who back me up and 
I know I have people for life. Like I know people will be there for me for life. Like literally when I talk to you guys, I get that feeling, you know. So thank you again, guys. I will stop talking now because uh, my ADD is acting up and I need to chill. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye.